Eric, thanks for talking Good with to me. See you. Yeah. Always something new going on at Ella Craft. Yeah, like we, we, we talk at every show. But yeah, what's what's new and interesting since the last couple of months? <laughs> well, uh, since last time we've talked, probably um, we've refined our remote control with the K4. Of course, well, actually, the most important thing right now, we'll turn down the volume here. Mm -hmm. um, the most important thing is we're actually shipping. Oh, you want to turn off the CW there? There we go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I had double receivers there. Yeah. So the, the most important thing is uh, we're shipping, because uh, you finally caught up on our K4 backlog, K4, K4D. Yeah. So we're shipping K4s, K4Ds, KPA 1500s, and KPA 500s. Yeah. And Captain, all from stock. I think right? that was the biggest question from the last time we talked yeah. is when's it all well, going? Well, we've, so caught it's up going. With, we've caught up with those. I'm still a little backlogged on KX3s and KX2s, but they're moving now. Yeah. Great. So I'm just now whittling the backlog down, which is going to be got parts covered sure. for those too. So I'm, I'm, I'm smiling a lot more these days. Good, good, good. The show here. Less um, angry emails. As the sign says here, shipping from stock. So on, on all that. So Excellent. We, we basically are getting those out the door. And it's, it's been, at least yesterday was super busy here. It's a little more calm today. Look much calmer. Yeah. 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 But, That's why I thought I'd come by and talk yeah, to you good today. Time, good time instead today. of, I saw you yeah. last, you know, yeah. five deep answering questions. Yeah. So other new stuff is, um, Remote control in the K4 is getting very close now. We've got it Great. working. I'm actually remote controlling my home station in California. Yeah. Eight Hotel Zulu Delta. Eight Hotel Zulu Delta from Whiskey America 6 Hotel, Hotel Quebec, WA6HHQ. He's not listening. <laughs> Radio. That's my station back in California. Oh, that you're connected to? That's, that's my, my one in uh, Aptos, California, on the California Monterey Bay. Yeah. And uh, I've got a, a four-element step by R up about 55 feet. Yeah. I'm on the side of a hill looking over the Pacific uh, about a mile away. I, I thought it was eight hotel. Eight hotel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. But that's... No, he's not in the U.S. This guy's <laughs> Yeah, we can could, we could safely say not a U.S. call. No, I was trying to understand the call. It's hard to hear it. But uh, I'm remote controlling um, over the internet, K4 to K4 right now. So oh, everything, wow. everything's real time, streaming pan adapter, streaming. Oh, up, that's you know. cool. And so we, you're, you're really using that as a control slash yeah, visualization. Is, it's a regular K4, but I'm using it right now just by putting it in the mode where sure. I connect externally. Yeah. Like I was demoing the booth, connecting one of the other radios right. here in the booth, and then they can, they can do that. So the best situation for your ham radio is uh, having two K4. Oh, of course. Right, so <laughs> we you, like that. You yeah. can, you can yeah. remote yeah. one and then yeah. have your, your portable we're, yeah. K4. <laughs> no, we're doing a couple other things. So your friends can share your radios with each other. So, Perfect. hey, you got the bigger yeah. antenna or maybe mm -hmm. you know you have less line noise at your house today. They can go through your radio. Right, 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 right. Or you can try working the DX station together from your friend station. Right, like right, right, right. So, Very good. Uh, so, a lot of fun stuff like that. Yeah, but also, it. we're going to do a K4 Zero, which is about four inches deep that is a you know basically like the k30 where we have a little portable terminal oh gotcha yeah, 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 yeah. It, it has a USB C for a wall work to power it you know small guy and uh, basically has all the IO so you can hook up your computer logging everything to it just like your it's a real radio oh that's awesome but you're, you're going to the remote radio instead and, oh that's cool yeah, super so cool sort of fun stuff yeah very good yeah uh, through this k4 mm -hmm. I've been like connecting to that k4 over there to show how it's it controls but basically 100 percent reproduction this is a full k4 it's not, not yeah, a yeah, dummy yeah. case excellent and you just put it in the connect mode and connect to your buddies from K4 or vice versa. Is there a way you can have a K4 at home and be traveling and just go in with a laptop? Yeah, actually, uh, yeah. I, I haven't turned this on yet, but sure. I've, got, I've got a laptop uh, version of the app we're developing. Right. And another developer is working on iOS versions uh, for the iPad. Love that. Oh, iPhone, yeah. Both of those. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, he's a fellow that's done it for other radios. He's pretty well known. So. If I if I uh, think I know who you're talking about, yeah. it's a very good piece of software. Yeah. And so that would be wonderful for the K4. Yeah. 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 So that, that's going to be good, too. That'll happen uh, probably a little bit later this, this year or early in the next excellent, year. Excellent. Excellent. They're working on it. I yeah. haven't how long it takes them to finish it. So the remote control stuff basically fully reproduces everything from the remote K4. Every K4 uh, will have this software in it. The software update we do will probably come out uh, late September or mid-October in that, that time frame mm -hmm. we stay on schedule. Yeah. Uh, we have to go through field tests on it first and everything. I mean, sure. I've got a working sure. version, but they're doing the final fine-tuning on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're fully encrypted end-to-end -end on that. Um, and what's cool about that is that there's no like password being passed you know, over the network. Basically, your encryption key is your password. Okay. So you got to okay. tell your friends, Okay, whoever it is that's going to act you or whatever access your radio, you have to know that. And you'll type in a, probably a plain text password that they we hash and create a right. long key. Right. And then uh, that basically encrypts data, pan adapter, audio, everything going Good. back and forth. Good, yeah. And then we've got uh, a 
using Opus, which is a nice codec, uh, a software codec that compresses uh, audio with. Right. If you're on your local network, you can turn that off. If you don't need the, but for, for going over the internet, you might need to have uh, for latency some, yeah, and whatnot. Well, that's yeah. You get better latency. To yeah. Off, but it's only about ten milliseconds difference or something. It's not a big difference. How do you handle uh, Morse code? Um, we basically remotely. Um, if you're familiar with the old remote rig boxes, a little um, bit. Yeah, those yeah. are very good on CWR. K3s used to work with those. Yep. Yeah. K4 will work with them too. But um, similar to what they did, we basically um, have a protocol where we're sending. If you're sending from a key or saying a K4, yeah, or something else. Um, we can send, okay, he just sent a, a this words per minute dot or a dash, you know, right. standard link. We timestamp, though, on leading and trailing edges of those so that you know um, when people start and stop sending. You know, say you pause a little bit, like a right. call sign. Right. My, my call sign is WA6HHQ. Well, that's 12 dits in a row almost at the end, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and so I actually put a little extra pause between those so it doesn't sound like a machine gun sure. going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so people have a different feel on their fist. We want to maintain that feel. So Excellent, that's, yeah. It's all buffered. Um, so you may have whatever the delay on the internet is, it will all shift with that. And, if it, and the buffer... Oh, okay, so it slides. Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. time-stamped. Yeah. As long yeah. as you haven't got to drop out longer than the buffer size, everything will come out at the same... Is the buffer size adjustable in. in case you are a slow Yeah, key? it is. Um, it's actually dynamically adjustable. We, we basically let you set the upper and lower bounds for the buffer with the max length is and the min. And basically looking the, at key speed? Yeah, yeah. Well, not key speed. We're looking actually... Well, first, that, that's the limits. You set those. But, right. But So I can say maybe minimum is uh, 50 or 100 milliseconds. Pick a number. Sure. Maximum is uh, 500 milliseconds. Mm -hmm. And then if you have... We'll try to be at the fastest. So, but if we start seeing dropouts on the net, we'll automatically expand the buffer. And oh. then as the net gets better, it goes back down. So if you have an intermittent, say some guys go over 4G or 5G right. for that, and they're more likely to get that on that situation versus going over cable or something if you have a good right. connection. Right. Like we have fiber Very in the cool. company, we don't see any problems there. I have right. I have yeah. high speed cable in my house. Yeah. And, but then so, you're at a show floor. Yeah. Right? And, and you've got you never know horrible Wi Fi. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm hardwired to the booth for that. Oh, reason. okay. Now, okay. We do that. They've got a good connection for us here. But um, Brandon, who is my, my sort of lead remote software guy, is the fellow that created remotehams.com. Has the oh, free yeah. software where you mm -hmm. have you know, PC based apps yep. on each end. He still yep. has that up for people. So he's been with us over 10 years. So he hasn't Excellent. had time to do much updates since then. But, but he, uh, he's got a lot of experience with that. And because of that, radio was built even before we had remote implemented in a client server system internally. Sure. So we could actually, when we have the UI come up, it actually says to the you call case server, everything starts with K and Ellicraft land. So yeah, yeah, the yeah. server is K serve inside, uh, K rads the physical interface with all the pick microprocessors, do real time yep. processing yep. Yep. like the keyer and stuff. And then we have KUI, which actually is running on the same main processor, the server. That's yeah, yeah. a separate module that does the UI. We can have another UI instance come up and say, hey, I want to be on here too. And when I was first showing our demos of what we might be doing, I was just bringing up a UI on the on a tablet under Linux. Yeah. And he would just say, oh, another one, great. So right. we can actually have multiple people connected to your radio if you want at the same time. It's just limited by the bandwidth of your connection. And, but also, um, obviously, you can overload the radio at some point, but it's, right. it's certainly more than two. But dual, dual transmitters, right? Because you've got, technically got two transmitters in there, so you uh, could technically have one person on one oh, and the other. Oh, not the same time. No, it's one transmitter. Oh, okay, okay. gotcha. Dual receivers. Dual receivers, okay. You can select where the transmitter goes, but... I'm got sure it, okay. One. Very but, cool. Uh, but the bottom line is you could have two or three got your buddies all listening to the same station and taking turns working it or something like that. Sure. You know, or just all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, like yeah, so, yeah. So we have K4 to K4. Or K4D doesn't matter. Right. Which, by the way, if you have a K4, which is doesn't have the second analog to digital converter, that's a single antenna feeding the receiver versus right. being able to use two different antennas. Mm -hmm. um, if you're controlling a K4D, you get all the K4D features because that's the radio doing all the heavy lifting from a hardware standpoint. Sure. So it, we just act like a terminal on the on the client K4. Mm -hmm. um, that's true for the software app too. Okay. It has the same display by the way in the software app that you see. Here. Love it. Yeah. And uh, even touch screen, everything works the same. Oh, excellent. Um, yeah. But, uh, so you can have you know several of your friends on there with that, and then we're also going to bring out a K40 like we had a K30. Oh, you hear that? K40. Yeah. So that'll be basically without the RF inside the radio. Right. So about think about four inches deep, exact same kind front of the, panel. The the yeah about here about here. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. Um, but it's got a, a smaller version of the industrial grade single board computer running Linux that controls our internal system. Okay. And basically has the same I/O that we have on this main radio. Mm -hmm. So you can plug in your single cable for. Uh, Digital modes with sound card internal, and you know, I'm uh, pretty sure we have a sound card. Internal. Okay. And all I/O for that. Your logging programs will talk to it. And they think they're just talking to a local radio, even though you're controlling one 
halfway across the country. So Got it's, it, yeah. it's seamless. You don't even have to do anything special about that. Yeah, so once you set it up for the first time on the Zero, for instance, yeah. it's just going to go home, yes, connect, works, and, yeah. and it just works. Oh, yeah. that's excellent. Yeah. You were showing me earlier, too, this is, the, I think, one of the coolest things that more companies need to do, how easy it is to update the software on Oh, this. sure, yeah. That is the big thing. I don't know why that's not just push button, go home, oh, yeah. get update, well, make I, it happen. I, well, I can disconnect uh, from here. And they, yeah. I don't know if you're set up so you can see the yeah, screen well. I, I, I should be able to, but I'll, I'll zoom okay. in. But uh, basically, all I have to do is... Yep. Uh, I'm going to disconnect from this guy. So this is a setup I have for the show right now. Now I'm standalone. Okay. So obviously, I was, I was controlling the one in California. Yeah, yeah. That. And uh, it's cleared now. And I go up here, and I'm not going to do a full update because I don't want to overwrite yeah. what I've got in the radio right now. But your whole two clicks to get here basically almost, right? here, and then I basically hold that, and that shuts down the radio normal operations. You're going to be updating software. You don't right. want the radio trying to fight with right, you. Right, right, right. And then I can uh, go things like check for new updates and then you say update and it'll it's, say hey there's new software it, it's so in yeah, yeah. It, it, absolutely the way to do that yeah, plus if you, if you don't like what you got say uh, you can also go to beta version which is the earlier sure release yeah because we're looking at nightly release right yeah, that's, it's, nightly it's, is engineering this is an engineering sure engineering. but you, you know won't, what I mean. you won't see that. no 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 but no. you will see uh, the latest production release the previous production release right and a beta release if we have it i love there. that yeah can you can always roll back then yeah, if, you so want if you want to you want to be on the bleeding edge for a day you can turn that on sure you, those are by the way beta releases are all already tested by our Field test customers, right, right? So it isn't like leading edge where we're just putting it out. Right, for the first it's not going to break the radio. But or you know, the field test maybe twenty or forty people that field testing. But going out to the thousands of people out there with the radios, that will catch any little problem before we go to a full. Ideally, release. right? That's yeah. yeah that's why so you do. So we it. wait until we have had a good field test and then we put it out there. And do it. Excellent. So that's what that looks like. I, I've been loving the last couple of years of just kind of talking with you and seeing as things yeah. have progressed. And it's great to hear shipping. You're, you're shipping basically everything. Amps are becoming available yeah. and everything. It's it, feeling a lot better. You know, nothing's perfect. There's still some part shortages sure, out there. Sure, but sure, sure, sure. what's good is everywhere where I was having heart attacks, where I'm thinking, oh my gosh, we're going to have to shut down or cut back because no. we can't get parts. Yeah. We've been able to scramble enough. Sometimes it costs me more money. That's that's the side sure. of it. Sure. Same reason, you know, your restaurant prices are higher. We had to go up too because the parts right. costs went up. Right. Um, but we, I think we sort of stabilized in that. Excellent. Yeah. But I'd say there's going to be there'll be surprises this year. I'm sure there'll be short-term delays, but not oh, hopefully long-term ones. Anymore. Not the good kind of surprise, oh, but surprise well, you have to work. Oh, around. I never. I always have good kind of surprises coming. I just can't tell you when. Got it. Got it. No, we 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 work, we work you know two two three years ahead on product development. Excellent. So Excellent. I've always got something in the pipeline, but we're, these obviously aren't getting replaced anytime soon. The KX2s and KX3s are. They're mainline still. They're very popular. Remember, K KX3s have picked up in popularity again. They have they? Yeah, they sort of dipped a little bit. Um, like when some of the competing radios came out, that just diffuses you know, the market sure. a little bit. Yeah. But surprisingly, then it came back up. And uh, my biggest problem is I couldn't ship them. So because <laughs> right. I couldn't get parts, yeah, and yeah. now I get parts. Nothing and like now, a demand we, increase. We have a big, we had a big backlog as a result of that. Oh, that's back. good. I mean, so and now we're we're pushing it down. Yeah. KX2s are a little ahead of the KX3s on getting the backlog down, but they're both both coming down fast. I was ecstatic. I was on the early list to get the KX2 charging module. Oh, the KX IBC oh. too. Yeah. It was exactly what it needed. Yeah, they've been popular I, here at the show. You know? I love the fact that it's just a... Oh, it charges right inside the radio. I don't yeah. have to do anything. Yeah. Just plug it yeah. in. Boom, I'm done. I don't like have to open phone. that. Yeah, just... Well, because you know, as a soda guy, pull it out of your backpack and start yeah. pulling the back plate off. You're like, I'm doing this on a mountaintop. Is this okay? You know, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Who knows what yeah. getting in the back. It was exactly what it needed. So I, I was ecstatic to get that. Cool. But Eric, thank you for hey, taking the time. Appreciate Wonderful it. to catch up yeah. with you. And uh, yeah, go check out Elecraft. Website will be in the description. Thanks a lot.